some more higher GCSE 9 to 1 maths past paper exam questions on ratio which you can download in the description down below. Let's do this. Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're trying to get the best grade in maths you possibly can, let me help. Start now by subscribing. Okay then, first up, divide 405 in the ratio 4 to 11. Okay, first step, add the parts of the ratio. So, 4 add 11 is 15. We then need to know how many times that goes into 405. So, 405 divided by 15. is going to give us 27 and then multiply each side of the ratio by 27 so we get 4 times 27 to 11 times 27 uh, so 4 times 27 is 108 And 11 times 27 is 297. Okay, the next step. We are told B is 2 thirds of C. 5A is equal to 4C. Work out the ratio of A to B to C. Give your answer in its simplest form, where A, B, and C are integers. Okay, so let's first of all try and turn B is two thirds of C into a ratio. What we're going to need to do is get two ratios and then combine them into one. So if B is two thirds of C, then if C is 3, B would be 2. So, uh, B to C is 2 to 3. Okay, then we're told 5A is equal to 4C. So, to do this, we want to turn this into a ratio. Think of numbers for A and C that would make this work. So, what number do 5 and 4 both go into? It would be 20. So, A would need to be 4. And C would need to be 5. So, A to C is 4 to 5. Okay, so now we have then these two ratios. Let's just try this one again. Now both ratios contain C, so we need to turn the C parts into the same number. So the first thing 3 and 5 go into is 15, so we need to multiply the left hand ratio by 5, so we're going to get 10 to 15, and the right hand ratio by 3. So we're going to get 12 to 15. So imagine A, B and C are apples, bananas and coconuts. We now know for every 
15 coconuts we have. We have 10 bananas and 12 apples. So, A, B, to C is 12 to 10 to 15. Okay, next up, Theo starts with savings of £18. James starts with no savings. Each week from now, Theo will save £4.50 and James will save £4. Uh, we are asked in how many weeks will Theo and James have savings in the ratio 15 to 8. Okay, so at the moment, before they save any money, we could say Theo to James. is 18 to 0. So, you can't really use zeros in ratios, but for this question, it works. Now, we know each week Theo is going to save £4.50, James is going to save £4. So we could just keep adding £4.50 on the left and £4 on the right. However, we could be a little bit cleverer. We know that James's savings are going to need to be a multiple of 8 because his part of the ratio is 8. So instead of adding every week, we're going to add every two weeks because he saves eight pound every week so every two weeks theo is going to save nine pound james is going to save eight pound so after the first two weeks they're going to be 27 to eight so that doesn't simplify Another two weeks, they're going to be 36 to 16. Now, that does have a common factor of 4. So this is 9 to 4. Not what we want, so that's after 4 weeks. And then they're going to have 45 to 24. Common factor there of 3, this is 15 to 8. So the answer is 6 weeks. Okay, next up. Bit of a fiddly one, so the volume of a medal is 45 centimetres cubed. The medal is made from copper and tin. And the volume of copper to the volume of tin is 22 to 3. So C to T is 22 to 3. Okay, then we're told the density of copper is 8.96 grams per centimetre cubed and the density of tin is 7.31 grams per centimetre cubed. We want to work out the mass of the metal. Okay, so first thing we're going to need to know is the volume of copper and the volume of tin in the middle. So we need to split 45 in the ratio 22 to 3. So add the parts of the ratio 22 add 3. On a good day is 25. We then do 45 divided by that.
Um, it comes out one point eight. So we then multiply the side of the ratio by one point eight. So we've got twenty-two times one point eight two three times one point eight. So, we get then copper is uh, 39.6 centimeters cubed. And tin is 5.4 centimeters cubed. Okay, so now we know the volume of each type of metal, we need to work out the mass of each type of metal. So, density, the formula is given to you in grams per centimetre cubed. Grams is a measure of mass, centimetre cubed is a measure of volume. So, density... is mass divided by volume. So, if we want mass, we need to multiply by volume. So, density times volume gives us the mass. So, we can now work out the mass of copper. By doing 39.6 times its density, uh, which was 8.96. And that is going to give us 354.816. And that is grams. Okay, then do the same for the mass of tin. So this time we are doing uh, 5.4 times 7.31 Now that gives us 39.474 Grams. So then the total mass is those two added together. So the total mass is 394.29 grams. Okay, next up. Quite a tricky one. So we're given the formulas for the volumes of spheres and cones. We're told a sphere has a radius 2x centimetres, a cone has a radius 3x centimetres and perpendicular height h centimetres. The sphere and the cone have the same volume. We want to uh, work out the ratio of the radius of the cone to the perpendicular height of the cone. Giving our answer in the form A to B, where A and B are both integers, so whole numbers. So, we could 
straight away, write it down. The radius to the height is 3x2h. Now the problem with that is we have x and h involved in the form we want it. We just want two integers. So this at the moment is no good. So what is going to happen? Well, we're told the sphere and the cone have the same volume. So what we can do find the volume of each, set them equal, and hope some magic happens. So, for the sphere, the radius is 2x. Now the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds by r cubed. So, I prefer though to write it as volume is pi r cubed times 4 over 3. So, 4 pi r cubed all over 3. So, what we're going to do is substitute r equals 2x into that. So the volume of the sphere is 4 pi times 2x all cubed over 3. Now then, that's 4 pi times 8x cubed all over 3 which finally we could write as 32 pi x cubed all over 3 So that's the volume of our sphere. Now we're going to do the same for the cone. So the cone has a radius 3x. So in the cone, r is 3x. Now the volume for a cone is one third pi r squared h. Now again, for this one, I prefer to write it as pi r squared h all over three. So here then, we're gonna have the volume is pi times 3x all squared times h all over 3. So 3x all squared is 9x squared. So we can write this as uh, 9x squared, or 9 pi x squared h all over 3, which we can then cancel the factor of 3, so this is 3 pi x squared h. So, that's the volume of the cone. 
Now, the last thing told us that the volume of the sphere was equal to the volume of the cone. So we can now set these two volumes equal to each other. So, we know 3 pi x squared h is equal to 32 pi x cubed over 3. Okay, so what this is going to allow us to do is find h in terms of x. So, on both sides we have a common factor of pi, so we can divide that away. So we get 3x squared h is equal to 32x cubed over 3. We have a common factor of x squared on both sides. So we get 3h. Naturally I run out of room. Uh, so we can get 3h is equal to 32x over 3 and then if we divide through by 3 we get that h is equal to 32x over 9 Okay, so now remember that ratio we wrote down at the start, the radius to the height of the cone. Was 3x to h. We now know h is 32x over 9. So we can write this ratio now as 3x to 32x over 9 We can multiply through by 9 So we get 27x to 32x And then divide through by x our final answer is 27 to 32. Okay, next up we have sock doa with some ratio. So in case you're rusty, I'll put my sock doa playlist down below. So ABC is a right angle triangle. AC is 14 centimeters. Angle C is 90 degrees. The size of angle B to the size of angle A is 3 to 2. We want to work out the length of AB to 3 sig figs. So, first up, the side we want to find is uh, the hypotenuse. So, let's call it, uh, let's just call it H. Okay, so, what we need to do, given that we know one side and we want to work out another side, we need to work out one of the other two angles. Now because we're in a right angle triangle, we know B and A is 90 degrees. So, we need to split 90 in the ratio 3 to 2. Add the parts of the ratio, 3 add 2 is 5. 
we need to know how many lots of that are in 90. 90 divided by 5 is 18. Multiply both sides of the ratio by 18 and we are going to get 54 to 36. So we now know both angles. So angle B is 54 and angle A is 36. Okay, so now it's time for Sokotoa so we can choose either one of these angles. I'm going to use the 36 degree angle. So with that angle the 14 centimetres is the adjacent. So we got A and H we're playing with cos. So cos 36 is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now, if we multiply through by h, we get h cos 36 is 14. And then divide through by cos 36, h is 14 divided by cos 36. And to three sig figs, that gives us 17.3 centimetres. Okay, then the final question in a bag. Uh, there are blue, green and white discs. There are four times as many blue as green discs. Straight away, get the ratio down, blue to green. is 4 to a 1 and we're told uh, the number of blue discs to the number of white discs is 3 to 5 so blue to white 3 to 5 uh, we are then told one disc is selected at random Mark out the probability that the disc is either blue or white. Okay, so what we need to do is combine the ratios into a single ratio. Work out how many parts that ratio has. Work out how many parts are either blue or white. And then we can get our answer. So, the thing common to both ratios here is blue. So we need to turn the blue part into the same number in each ratio. So the first number, 4 and 3 going to is 12. So we're going to multiply the left hand one by 3. So we get 12 to 3. And the right hand by 4. So we get 12 to 20. So now we know for every 12 blue discs there are 3 green and 20 white. So we can now say blue to green to white is 12 to 3 to 20. Now, all together, that ratio, let's say probability, blue or white. So, all together, this ratio has 35 parts. So, the bottom is 35. Blue and white together make up 32 parts. So, it's 32 out of 35.
And then guys, that's all the fun for this video. If you found it useful, please do give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, share with your friends. I have loads more ratio questions in the higher ratio playlist, which is linked down below. I also have videos like this with downloadable questions on all sorts of topics, working on them every day. That playlist is also down below, higher. GCSE 9 to 1 Maths Pass Paper Exam Questions If you have any requests for topics you want done like this let me know down below in a comment For now, take it easy, take care